I'm part of a team uh, which have been uh, awarded 66 hours uh, uh, observing time on JWST. Uh, so we will be look studying young stars, stars that are you know uh, born, uh, just being born, uh, and uh, we we are we will be studying uh, five stars across mass range, uh, ranging from a tenth of a solar mass to about ten solar masses, uh, and we'll be using two of uh, uh, instruments on JWST. Uh, namely the NIRSPEC and the MIRI instrument uh, uh, to study them. Uh, so you see when stars are young, uh, they are very active and, uh, and there are a lot of energetic process that goes on and we want to study them and to understand how uh, stars and planetary systems form and how these processes uh, shape and regulate these pro uh, this formation of stars. And Young star because uh, star formation and planet formation go together, and uh, it's uh, one of the one of the uh, the great success of modern star formation theory has been its prediction that planet formation is a natural byproduct of the star formation process. Uh, so, see one of the questions that uh, we humans uh, always want to know answer to is how did it all begin? How did uh, you know uh, uh, a star, sun, and the solar system formed, and how did Earth form and how did life emerge on Earth? So some aspects of this question uh, we can address uh, with JWST, basically understanding how stars and planet, uh, protoplanetary disks, which are the birthplace of planetary systems, uh, form and how from a protoplanetary disk these planets emerge. Yeah, one of the, uh, as far as JWST is concerned, I think I think one of the uh, big breakthroughs is probably going to come uh, in the formation of galaxies. The galaxy, uh, the, when, so JWST is most likely going to uh, answer the question of the, uh, when did the first stars form or when the first uh, galaxies forms. And this is, JWST is able to do that because it can, it works, it operates in the infrared wavelengths and uh, uh, it can really see, look back in time, you know, uh, uh, to as early as, you know, 300, 400 million years after the Big Bang. So uh, uh, that's one area where JWST is likely to make a significant impact. And, it, and, and that's one of the science area for which JWST was built in the first place. 